call it in faith. Amen. And I will make it materialize in your life. Amen. 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 And just because it doesn't go away when you want it to go away, it doesn't mean it's not going away. That's, that's, what we lose, that's what we lose faith. Amen. Because we put a deadline on the Lord. We, I thought he would have taken this tote away from me by now. Amen. All right. Just forget the, forget the deadline. And keep knowing he's going to take it away. Here's how you know that you're acting in faith. Once you start acting in faith, just like Job when God came into his presence and he was going through the same stuff but not suffering the same agony, all of a sudden, nothing's changed on the physical realm. Amen. But inside of you, you know that you ain't thinking about it, not focusing on it, not crying about it. All of a sudden, and every now and then you got to say, oh, oh, you know, I forgot my toy. Because you can't have your eyes trusting in God and your heart focusing on the Lord and complaining about your circumstances at the same time. Amen. Notice when Job started thinking and got into the presence of God, his physical condition had changed, but his response to his physical condition had altogether been altered. Amen. It was as if it wasn't there. You can say, God, oh, oh, I didn't mean, look at me. Did you know what I'm saying? He just talked to me. Yeah. Let's keep brothers and sisters. Amen. And until you grow in the Lord, that sounds like fairy tale talk. Amen. Amen. And if you don't stick with it and do it, you'll never believe it because you'll always back off just before the light comes. Amen. Remember the old folks used to say the darkness out is just before dawn. And some of us never see dawn because we think the darkness is never going to end and we turn away from the Lord. Amen. And we go back to our own self, worrying and full of anxiety, regretting and denying the power of God. Amen. So somebody ought to be healed. The song says, I'm, I'm looking for a miracle. Right. And then it says that you have to believe that you'll receive it. That is, believe on the veracity, the truthfulness, the faithfulness of God. And when you believe, you start acting, not in your suffering, but acting on what your responsibilities are in the midst of your problems. And God begins to deliver. Amen. 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 So let's get the religion out of the church. Let's get the religion out. Let's get all the false talk out. God is good. You don't trust him. Start trusting him. Amen. 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 Start trust. So what the doctor said you got hard trouble. And the truth is, the fact is, you do have hard trouble. But, you know, the truth is, God can deliver you too. Yeah. So you can hang out in the back, or you can hang out where the truth is. Because if you hang out where the truth is, the fact will change. Don't you know, let me tell you again. Fact is not truth, necessarily. Fact is the reality of, of what is at the moment. But truth never changes. Truth is a constant that never changes. Too many people look at the facts of their situations and claim it to be the truth. So they live in the facts, making it the truth of their lives. Amen. Amen. God is, is the truth. What he says is truth. Truth never changes. Truth never changes. One plus one is two. Every country, every language, every mathematical system, it is true. It never changes. Fact can change. The day is Sunday. That's a fact. Somebody says, is that true? Oh, yeah, that's true. The day is Sunday. No, that's a fact. Because not too many hours from now, it'll be Monday. And so if Sunday was a truth, every day would be Sunday. Are y'all following me on that? Amen. Now, that's not just Bible. That's plain old logic. <laughs> Amen. Right. Amen. You can go to larger books and find that out. Amen. God just said it first. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that's plain old. That's, that's true. So what we have to stop doing is relying and looking at our facts, the factual situations, the conditions, conditions of our life as being true, as if it's never going to change, can't change, and we start living in the facts. Because once you start living in the facts, it becomes your truth, even though it's not true. Mm. Y'all hear me? Amen. It becomes your truth, 
And a lot of Christians, male, female, are living in their truth when it's not true. Amen. All it is is a fact. You can change your facts. Yes, you, can. you can't change the truth. Amen. So we need to we need to start thinking about that. You get happy yes. that the Lord has brought us into his presence. Yes. And start living into the presence of the facts of our life and start living in the presence of the truth of our life. Amen. And you'll see some healing. You'll see some deliverance. And I'm not just talking about it. I, I know it. Somebody says they know something, it goes beyond the academic intellectual. They have experienced it and lived in it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. That's what knowing is. Yeah. Knowing is not head knowledge. Knowing is experience. Yeah. Intimately. Yeah. Been there. Yeah. Lived there. Yeah. And that's when you'll start knowing God's faith. Yeah. Amen. That's when you'll start knowing God's faith. Amen. 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 Y'all all right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. No announcements this morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I want to let's have another selection from the choir. Then we're going to have a word from the Lord. We're going to have communion. And we're going to get ready for the rest of the day. Amen. 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 No questions this morning. This is a monologue. <laughs> this is a spiritual monologue this morning. Amen. Got any questions? See me after two. Amen. Uh, and it's going.